Street driver who could barely see over the steering wheel and a CHP officer who could barely believe his eyes. Turned out to be a nine-year-old uh, child sticking his head out saying, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get to school. Now, pretty unbelievable one here. Madison Keevy has this tall tale out of Oroville involving a driver who came up a little short, I would say, Madison. Oh, Marley, you got that right, because regularly when you see someone behind the wheel of a car, you expect an adult, or at the very least, someone that's legal to drive and reach the pedals. That was not the case on this one, and you could call it really a case of impatience. A stormy day in Oroville, the backdrop for a morning mystery. I noticed the vehicle just stopped in the middle of the road. That one officer had to see to believe. One of those, no one really believed it. 311, blonde hair, big blue eyes, a little boy with a mission, get to school. The catch, that little boy was nine years old and behind the wheel of his mom's car. He made it about a mile from his house, but typically he's on his bike. Almost like a prank kind of thing, I guess, in a way. Look at it like this isn't really happening. What's going on? Terry Dunn is the CHP officer who spotted the car first. The boy's grandma, who shared the story with me, called the officer a godsend. He showed up at the right time, she says, as their family feared the worst. The boy's mom was in the bathroom and came out to find her son, keys, and car were gone. When he pulled up behind the car, it reversed slowly into his patrol vehicle. Startled. I didn't know at that point what was going to happen. The little boy's voice... Sticking his head out saying, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get to school. Once the officer pieced it together, mom got the call. Her son was okay. And that's exactly what the family says tonight. They are celebrating. They are not taking this event lightly. The little boy has apologized, I'm told, over and over and over again. But he's so young, he just wanted to get to school. And the family says after the shock wears off, and, and maybe a, a few years down the line, this is going to be something that they can look back on and smile at. But tonight, they're just so happy that he's home safe, and he and nobody else got hurt. Only on Christ 17 TV, back upside your head with another one. Today we got a nine-year-old boy who just had to get his little butt to school. And while his mother was in in the bathroom, he took her car keys and her car and was driving to school. Then got a CHP, got behind the little dude, and he's back safe. But I just want to say, this kid must really love school. For this young man to 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 not want to wait or not be late and take his mama car and drive his little butt to school at nine years old, got a mile from the crib, didn't crash, didn't do anything wrong. Well, he did something wrong. He took his mama car, so that's wrong. But I will say this. This kid is going to be somebody. If he's doing this just to get his little butt to school, then I think he's got a good, good future. So, <laughs> at nine years old, I was never trying to think about taking no car. I was on bikes and on foot. But this little kid, he's got some, he's got some cojones here, okay? But personally, I whip his little ass. You know what I'm saying? You need to know you can't do nothing like that. You putting your life in danger, little man, and all that. But it's just happy that he made it home safe. The car didn't crash. He backed in to the CHP, but real slowly. And on the flip side, is if I'm the CHP and I'm pulling this car over, the last thing I'm gonna think is a nine-year-old boy driving this damn car. So I'm so I'm thinking, could you even see his his head? Cause he's so like young. I mean, this is nuts to me, but it's just happy that he didn't get hurt. Nobody else got hurt. He didn't crash, which is crazy because he's only nine. So he must really watch his mom drive or he might be at the house on the game playing some kind of driving game. But this is crazy to me. This is in Oroville, which is way up there past Sacramento. And it's just a good thing. The young man is OK, but I will say this. He's the kind of kid that's going to have a perfect attendance he don't want to miss school for nothing he just proved that and if he's going to go through all this 
to go to school. I hope the boy's getting great grades. Hope he does great in school. Hope he gets a scholarship because this is the kind of kid you want to have. Most kids, my stomach hurt. I don't feel good. I'm hot. They don't want to take their butt to school. This kid took his mama car while she's using the bathroom and was going to take his butt to school himself. Whether she liked it or not, you got to give him a little love. You get an A for fucking effort, but you get an F for taking your, mom, your mom's car. But I want to say this. This is a feel-good story. You know what I'm saying? But that being said, man, hit that like. Hit that subscribe, it won't cost you a dime. And little man is only nine, driving to school, and I will catch you on the flip side. Christ 17 TV, baby.